at my tattoo removal doctor's office. It's just in one of these buildings. I gotta get to it right now. It's just under two o'clock and my appointment's at 2.15 and check-in time is at 2.15. And there's a whole new team working on my tattoo today. So it's really nerve wracking to find someone and to meet them. But thank goodness this is going to be my last tattoo removal and instead of waiting eight weeks to make an appointment i'm going to make 16 weeks for an appointment and after this i'm going after this treatment i'm going to go do red light therapy and then i'm going to commit to red light therapy for 16 weeks and at the end of 16 weeks see where this is at if chris can live with it and if so i really hope so fingers crossed because this is a chunk a chunk of of finances you know it takes a big chunk out of, out of savings and everything like that so I haven't been able to do much with the family or save much as I want to for the family because I'm stuck doing this and I don't know if I can give you guys any advice get these removals done before you have children because it's just heartbreaking Anyway, I'm here and I'm going inside, so I will see you. Hey everybody, so I just got done and I'm walking up some stairs. But finally, I just got done and they did everything up to the shoulder, which I'm really happy about. Um, it's just kind of refreshing just to get like a new set of people. I was so nervous and one of the guys reminded me of my little brother and Uncle Mike and it was just so refreshing. And the other one, uh, you know, had a fiance and they met in Barcelona. And it was just really interesting to hear their stories. Anyway, they did a wonderful job, very quick. And my doctor decided that waiting 20 minutes in between the second and third laser or first and last laser, uh, there wasn't much of a difference. And so I got some expensive expensive stuff that they gave me for free um, some special cream of what it's not it's nothing like aquaphor nothing like aquaphor which I'm like so excited to kind of use and they gave me a bunch of uh, uh, gauze and tape at least it's all done and I'm, I'm really excited so here's my bag and just saw a couple cops so I am going to go home and red bed it out to starting tomorrow I'm really excited oh gosh it's just so refreshing I think I'm done guys I think I am so we'll see I think the tape hurts worse than the actual procedure okay so they did like all the way out to here the beak Okay, ready, set, go. <laughs> they give me more bandages to put on, but pretty insane. How much is it gross? But look. So the top part of the R is off, the E, Whoa. this one they did it. They used like a hybrid machine and that's a lot of, that's completely different from last time. Oh yeah. They Do you see? Deep. Yeah, that's going to They said that it was going to go deep, like cranking into over 10.46 over that, I guess. That's going to pull it out. Look how raised that is. Oh, I don't yeah. even see. I just see how thick it is. It expanded. Yeah, because yeah, it got deep in there and fucked it up. That's great. That's what we want. 
Look how much ink is left, though. I can't wait till that section well, that is just ink off. Start pulling, it's pulling forward. You can see. Yeah. You can see like here where the spots of the ink were. It's like way worse. They did a, a luminous. They put me in a completely different, separate room. Put me on a luminous machine, and then Sino shirt, and then Pico shirt. Oh, yeah, so they did the bird and over, or the bird beacon. Yeah, that's, a, that's a way better value this time. Yeah, and it's like the whole new team, and they gave me fancy cream and gauze for a good little while, which I have to call in. Well, I think they've reviewed, they were reviewing my stuff with Dr. Goldman. You know, the, the guy from Fox that was on the Fox channel. And I think that's kind of was like, yeah, I think Goldman was like, come on. My grandson has the same kind of issue. It kind of hits home, maybe. And he just wants it gone as much as I want it gone. But I think it just kind of hits the cord. So this is where it's our Friday and so I'm getting a little bit of a hopefully buzz but check it out. Look at their little front. This might be an interesting little buy for my dad when he does maybe the backyard or side yard for one of his houses. But that's kind of like maybe on the shindig cheap side, but anyway, they did a good little quick thing. I do like how the color contrasts with those chairs and the, and the camel colored covers. And I do enjoy the fake grass. They were really smart using the fake grass, especially here in San Diego. I haven't noticed our yard. Um, I water it all the time and it's still like so gross looking. And it won't die either because I've tried to kill all the weeds and replant grass. But anyway, it looks really nice. Chris is in there. It's called Look Crave Cafe. And this is kind of the area that we're hanging out in. This is what it looks like. People are looking at me weird. Like they don't know if I'm FaceTiming or if I'm not, but. Okay, so Chris was saying that my whole skin, like he could see that my skin was raised. And I didn't really notice that until um, I got in the shower because I, you know, didn't mess with it at all. And then Chris went ahead and put on this like secret syrup. But look at it. I'm like really impressed with what they did. Cause see all those lines? My last treatment, if you go back and watch the rest of the videos, didn't have lines that thick. So it like whew, scooped it, scooped at least a whole chunk out of it. Um, a whole chunk of ink out of my skin and raised it to the surface. So I'm really excited because that's like, you know, it's gonna wake my skin up. So the next couple things is collagen, maybe get some like super healing ointment, which I got. What's up? Look at his nice new black outfit. Whoa. They're making yours. Okay. I think, like, cause that's, ooh. check that out. See, that's already all lifted. And I'm still kind of disappointed with this. I'm probably going to have to, like, wipe it all out and then just go back in 
and do the scar treatment or special laser lasering but it's for the most part pretty pretty happy about it whatever I just want the blotches to go away so at least I can have some letters gone but yeah, it is raised, so it does feel like it would scar, but it went as soon as that inflammation goes down. It's super late. I just did the red bed today, but I wanted to show you this S. I know it's kind of odd, but look at this S. I just scratched it off, this like scabby stuff, and like that's a scab. Look, and then. On camera it's not showing very well but that right there that like bru it looks bruised on camera but it's not it's my skin pigmentation resurfacing and look, that's just crazy I just like showed Chris I was like wait a minute check that out and guys, this is the S side. So this is the side that's only been treated by their lasers. And Chris is like, I'm so mad because this is what they could have probably done the whole entire time. But, peekaboo! Anyway, we are... In the bathroom. Yeah, I gotta get this all fixed. And, uh, yeah. 